Hi all, I wish you all a very happy new year. Each year we start the year with a resolution. This year let's start with a purpose by turning our attention towards WHO a strategy of global elimination for cervical cancer. Each year January month is recognized as Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. This is to raise awareness about cervical cancer among each woman so that we could contribute to the WHO Cervical Cancer Elimination Strategy Program. Cervical cancer has become a significant health problem and a concern. Cervical cancer, we all know that it is most it is one of the preventable and yet curable in when detected in early stage. According to the Globocon 2020 fact sheet, if we see there are more than 6 lakhs uh, cases diagnosed each year and more than 50% of the cases succumb to death. And hence this is causing a major health problem and a significant public health concern. Because most of the women are not aware about the cancer and then they come to us, they come in an advanced stage and then the survival rate falls down. Cervical cancer is the cancer of the uterine cervix, that is the mouth of the cervix. Human papilloma virus. So HPV viral infection causes cervical cancer. But we have to know that not all women with HPV infection develop cervical cancer. But there are certain health risk factors that causes the persistence of HPV infections which leads to cancer in later on. Early marriage or if there are multiple sexual partners or if there is smoking or alcohol addictions if there is oral contraceptive pills or if there is low immunity or there are associated other associated sexually transmitted infections these are high risk for developing cervical cancer later on So, uh, signs and symptoms mostly in early phases, most of them are asymptomatic. But as the disease progresses, the signs and symptoms may begin, just like postcoital bleeding, or there could be abnormal vaginal bleeding, or there could be abnormal discharge associated with spotting or bleeding, or in advanced stage, there could be limb swelling or a backache, or if there is a metastasis to the lung, there could be breathlessness. So there are few methods, first is number one that is primary prevention that we can prevent it by HPV vaccination, human papilloma viral vaccination or a cervical cancer vaccinations. This vaccination can be given to girl from age of 9 up to the age of 15 years but carried on to 26 to 45 years as well. Second, every woman from the age of 25 to 30 years should undergo a high performance test that is pap smear or HPV DNA test up to the age of 65 to 70 years every 3 to 5 years. By screening what happens is either a pre-invasive cancer or a cancer in an early stage or advanced stage can be detected and when once the cancer is detected either it could be pre-invasive lesions or early stage or advanced stage we can treat it accordingly. For instance if it is a pre-invasive lesions the surgeries or the treatment is will be very minimal or minimally invasive and if the cancer is detected in an early stage then there are surgeries and when the disease is advanced it still can be treated and then controlled. So all of us pledge that we carry this message to each and every woman about cervical cancer awareness. Let each of us get vaccinated, get screened and if disease is detected please get treated. Thank you.